Hey everyone, journey with me to a galaxy far, far away as we look back at the expanded universe, which filled our imaginations and kept the Star Wars franchise alive for decades before the likes of Rey and Kylo Ren debuted on the big screen. Journey with me into the Legends of Star Wars. Despite the destruction and chaos caused by the age-old conflict between the Jedi and the Sith, the Jedi Order as a whole never outright hated the Sith. Recognizing such emotions would lead them down a dark path. The same cannot be said for a secret offshoot of the Jedi Order known as the Jedi Covenant. Unlike their fellow Jedi brethren, the members of the Covenant never shied away from their hatred for the Sith, giving the Covenant the conviction to carry out any action necessary to prevent the return of the Sith. After the Great Sith War, Jedi Master Corinda Dre founded the Covenant out of guilt for not foreseeing the fall of fellow Jedi hopeful Exar Kun, whose dark turn began the conflict. Corinda Dre would leave the Order, but would continue training potentials in the ways of the Force until the end of her life. The Dre Estate on Coruscant served as the headquarters for this Covenant, which consisted of several different groups of Jedi known as Watch Circles. Chief among them was the Covenant's first Watch Circle, a group of Jedi Masters stationed at the Order's Tower on Taurus, led by Corinda's own son, Lucian Dre. In addition to Lucian, the Covenant's first watch circle consisted of Masters Felm, Quanilia, Reyna Tay, and Zamar. While carrying out their secret mission for the Covenant on Taurus, the circle was ordered by the High Council to take on five young Padawans to instruct, one to each Master. For five years, the Masters guided their students, until at last it was time for the Padawans to face their trials. During the final trial, as the young Jedi made a blind trek across Taurus' moon, the Masters received a dark vision of the future, wherein each Master saw their own death, along with the destruction of the Jedi Order, at the hands of a Sith Lord clad in red armor, similar to the armor worn by the Padawans during their trial. The Watch Circle concluded that the armor-clad Sith must be one of their own apprentices. Lucian Dre made the call. The Padawans were summoned for their knighting ceremony. However, the tardiness of Lucian's own Padawan, Zane Carrick, gave Padawan Jevelin time to sense something amiss. Their intentions suspect, the five Covenant members were forced to strike early, just as Carrick entered the chamber. Framed as a murderer, Zane Carrick fled, now a fugitive from the Republic. On the run, Carrick would uncover the existence of the Jedi Covenant Captured by Master Zamar, Carrick was taken to the High Council, but Zamar proceeds to confess his part in the massacre, clearing Carrick's name and outing the existence of the Covenant to the High Council. The Council sends Zamar to lead an assault against the Covenant at Dre Estate. Hazen, a failed Jedi apprentice and confidant of the Dre family, had embraced the dark side and took control of the Covenant as Corinda fell ill. Proclaiming himself Darth Hayes, he began manipulating the Covenant into an insurrection against the Jedi. Hacking Coruscant's defense systems, Hazen ordered Operation Vindication, a simultaneous strike by the Covenant against the Jedi Order, involving Saul Karath's fleet firing on the assault at Dre Estate as Covenant agents plundered Sith artifacts from the Tower of the Jedi High Council. During the assault, Lucian shares a final moment with his mother, who expresses deep regret over her covenant becoming so perverse, and that her teachings had made Lucian commit atrocities such as the Padawan Massacre. Dying in her son's arms, Corinda's final message to Lucian is to accept his mistakes and move forward. Grief consumes Lucian, and Hazen convinces him to attack Zane Carrick. The former master and apprentice seem to face off as the estate burns around them. However, this is just a ruse in order for Carrick to get close enough to disarm Hazen. Lucian hurls his former apprentice to safety as he orders all ships to fire on Dre Estate, where he presumably dies along with Hazen. Despite the Padawan Massacre being a direct consequence of the Watch Circle's vision, the massacre itself would begin a chain of events, which leads to the prophecy's fruition. 
After the destruction of Dre Estate, the Jedi Covenant was dissolved, but their crimes would only strengthen the distrust of separate factions growing within the Order, among them those who fought in the Mandalorian Wars alongside Revan and Malak. For the full story of the Jedi Covenant and the Padawan Massacre, read Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic from Dark Horse. If you want more Legends content, click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons, or just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all for the next legend.